What is going on guys? My name is Assassin and we are here with some more Dog Gun Rumpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Um I forgot where we were left off. Alright, oh, what's gonna call it? Uh we were uh, we got knocked the fuck out basically. Um so what's up? I guess that this is the I got the voice. <laughs> this must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I better better hang on to it. It's gonna take me a while. I say this every episode, but it's, it's gonna take me a while. Um... That's good. Uh, there, there, there's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall, which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Should I do it in a Monokuma voice? Each room has been des des that designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose it. George. The room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at, uh, at night. Also, the bathrooms and the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. This, the sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head will, if any of the tools, should be ample. Don't think, just feel. And let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumbled up at, uh, I crumbled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the bin, or trash. A plant. There's a lint roller. It's some kind of lint roller, I guess. We're supposed to clean up after ourselves. I mean, I you might be trapped in the school, but I want to kill you, but you still gotta be hygienic. <laughs> some kind of monitor. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given a one to each of us. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching. Okay. Uh, got everything. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the sh shrink wrap. I don't really think I really need it right now, so I just leave it here. Okay. Uh, let's check the bed. Uh, let's check the bed. I think that's everything except the door right here. This would appear to be the bathroom. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Is it now? Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. Some so some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be our dormitory. Uh, sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping as ah, <laughs> sleeping in class. Wait, what? sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and will be punished. Okay. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. Next question is, what's, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out there. Yeah. What else are we gonna do? Sit inside. I rushed out of the room to meet up with the, all the others, but there was someone waiting for me. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Ah! Did that say Aka? Yeah, that's say Aka. Oh, Saika? Fucking idiot! I'm kidding. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. 
She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are, are you okay, Santa? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I'm. I, I know how I look, but I actually built some. Yeah, I got. I ah. I actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's that's good, man. But are you okay? Okay, you know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true, I got knocked out right in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto! Makoto! Oh, uh, I'm fine, nothing wrong here. That's good! That's good, uh, that. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried, but thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually... I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen. Well, well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? Yes. After you got knocked out in front of everyone, you kind of looked like a bitch, so I wanted to see if you were okay. <laughs> everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more efficient if we split up and invest to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we what each yeah, what we each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Okay. Let's call oh, these are all the rules. Looks like there's some kind of nameplate. Uh, I want to see wifey Kyoko. Why can't you go? I like that. <laughs> oh, so that, oh my god, why can't Celeste and Juco are like next to me? Fine, I guess I can wait. I'm gonna 
o'clock at night. Uh, um. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out the window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just be crazy. Bro, you're gonna be suspended. Makoto suspended on the first day of school. Did you happen to go to the Black Root Junior High? Or you may be in class too? Y yeah, actually, I was. <sighs> I knew it! I went there too! I was in class 4, though. Do you remember me? Do I remember you? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. No one remembers me. I'm kind of very forgetful, actually. <laughs> We'd never even even talk to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um. Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised at all. I wouldn't have thought you remembered me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course, I remember. Well, that's true, but there were a lot of students in our grade, right? Plus, I never been never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would be. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. It's strange, is that? <laughs> <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That someone, somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calm. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know someone here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about Polo. You're an amazing, Lakota. No, no, really not. I'm nothing at all from, compared to all of you all <laughs> But you're oh, but you're the, uh, the that the one that helped me find my courage again, not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay! And to thank you for helping me out, I'm gonna smack the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm here to become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now, so get with it, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna help you. Ha, ha. I'm gonna help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it it gets me pumped up! Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure he'll start showing up soon. Almost like... or almost like he... he timed... timed it? Taka threw open the dining hall door as a Sayaka said Hey! Ah, Makoto, Sayaka, so you two got here first, huh? How Too bad, I was sure I'd beat everyone here. <laughs> I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got it. Well, well, I won't give up next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevent. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else uh, came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Where's, okay! Where's it looks like everyone's where's here. Waifu, Time to start the meeting! Waifu Slash, where's Kyoko? Where's Kyoko? <laughs> Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. Wait, hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver pattern? <gasps> oh, yeah. Go ahead, Kyoga. That thing. Hmm. <laughs> what about her? Aww. She's not here, you fucking die. What? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um. I wonder where... Why am I giving her Duke of Wolf? I forgot what was in here. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just looked, uh, shook their heads. Huh? Wait, I don't know what's in here. Why 
Jesus be also so no good. Could it be because... No, no, Yes, no, indeed! No, 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 fuck no. No, she ain't being the first one to die. Ah, shit! <laughs> I have to tell her right here. She ain't being the first one to die. Babbling, strangling, fucking, cracking, hacking, crowding, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave the customer back. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give me your heart to achieve the best possible outcome in the way so possible. <laughs> Is it possible? Was she really? No, no. I'm just overthinking things. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko. You're really gonna be late like this on the first day of school. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she was. Be she would be late. A up uh, our most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now. You know that. <clears throat> ah. Well, ah. well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Do you hear me? Now then, I declare that the first siege session of the Home Street Academy briefing meeting has begun! Um... Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to... Uh, listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you know... Huh? Okay. <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give you everything I've got. No, no, you already done so much as my assistant. Rather be my assistant and yeah, okay. okay, who should we talk to too far? Um. Okay, next. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's going on. Everyone's not convinced to get to act. Different parts of the building. But... You see! Akuya and Kaka each went off on their own. And so did Kyoko. It. Oh, 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 damn it, I forgot to click your reaction. Oh, fuck. Damn it. It looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chihiro all grouped up together. <laughs> We, we, we went. Ah, fuck! I'm fucking this up. We went up and down and, and down the school, double checking the windows and all the hallway classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal places. Sadly, I scratched up my fucking nails and they're clipped. This is so not fucking cool. And what happened was. <laughs> Nothing, not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of it's getting anywhere. The school really has no people to honor. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 bad! It really sucks. It sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks! What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on! God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Oh, let's talk to Wifey Junko. I can touch on her. No. Um, oh my god. Get out of my you way. See. Uh, wait, no, I could. I didn't. I, hold on. Hold on. Um, I, I didn't know I could redo it again. Thank god. You see. Okay, let's learn about. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to try and find some clues as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. <laughs> really? That's it? <laughs> You're fine. If I had to uncover anything naturally, I would have left more to say if I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh, right. I missed it. Um. You see. Back off me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You see. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... Listen to me! I made a discovery of the century. I found that there were actually one room for each person. Uh, but yeah, I figured that out before anyone else. Yeah! Each door has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key was attached to a piece of paper with a name. Which is the same as the room I was in earlier. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally sad too. Um, and 
to take one of their lines out and you wouldn't be able to. <laughs> Rather, each of them had also had a private bathroom. We could all also lock. Hmm. But it locked like there were only locks on the bathroom in the girls' dorm. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on! Okay, so, they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a lot. Quiet down and listen! It's better to have that than not have not that. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that can't be all you have to report. Can it be M Mr. Potter's stupidity? Got it! That's all for my report. Let's move on to what I was saying. Yeah, it's just a second. teach you what happened next. And it has not, nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying, worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading to another floor. But, but there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check them out. <laughs> In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However, Something you bitch. <laughs> for, forget it. Like I do want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Hey, don't talk shit about waifu. Slut. <laughs> your mind is too thin, and your body you make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I. I don't even know how to, like, react. What the fuck? How can you say something so awful to someone you just met, you dumb whore? I'm sorry. I'm like, really? <laughs> Getting into these voices? It's a bad thing. Hey, come on! Alright, guys. I mean, just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Oh. Yeah, it's super, super hard. So that's what we have to say. And I guess I'm the only one. Um, what do you 
you have to say for yourself? I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. You know, eggplants, uh, cucumbers, anything that's basically a dildo shape. <gasps> that's good. I guess you don't have to worry about food, about food at least. But... For now, but you all that you're thinking of how long can we last? Or how long can the food last? I remember all my food traits, my food stats are gonna I'm moving harder. <laughs> you can just eat sesame seeds or something. Mm -hmm. What am I a parasite? You have to worry about it. All the food just gets restocked on the mannequins. Oh. At least that's what Mama told us. You look strong. Okay. Yeah, you came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that it didn't disappear again. He was so fast, I couldn't believe someone could have been moving him around with a little bit. That's. Open eyes, Chloe. It just appears from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But. What, was everything okay? He didn't try to like eat you or anything. <laughs> Even though like you have no fucking meat on your belt. He's like, look at my fucking tits, bitch. He gave her a coat before. I mean, when you say Hey, you bastard! What the hell, Freddy? You're acting like some kind of crazy junk here. Actually, Hey! Hey, stop screwing around, all of you, you fucking stupid bitches! My nails are as sharp as a motherfucker, I'll scratch them! <laughs> are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here, we can like, all just like, die one day, any second! Ugh, shit! She's right, we can't be making stupid jokes right now, we gotta do something more! The voice cut through the noise and Hey, is that Kyoku? Is that why I, mean, I knew you couldn't be dead? It's just like someone completely different. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. I knew it. <laughs> hey, Kyoku. Do you really think you could afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Kyoku, where the hell uh, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. Didn't say, didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope Speaker Hot. A map? Where did you find this? Wow. It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter! You're really freaking us up right now! But more important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would say. Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in the precisely the same area as Hell's Peak Academy. So what you ha, so what you're saying is this really is Hope Peak Academy. True. Well in terms of construction, yes. But it looks like it's how it was It's had a number of things renovations that Renovations? However I don't know all the details yet. All I found all I found was the details about the first Um so stupid, it's not impossible. This is where the country future leader is supposed to come in there. But, but if this is really is hosting, where are all the other students? I'm really so running hot. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come on guys, let's just stop talking about all this, you know, and make it as But aren't you worried? Yeah. But aren't you worried things don't look good? Yo! You worried? What's it a worry about this? I'm gonna smirk the shot, I'm so bad right now. I mean, this is all blurred out, right? The people in the art of those who put this all together, right? <laughs> I mean, if I got judged every time something like this happened, I'd have extra plasma getting out of my mouth. And you're like, really fucking dense as well. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's your problem? Why are you laughing? You look so funny. So yeah, funny, you poor. <laughs> I'm just happy that he's all. It seems sticking up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Looking around was a total waste of time. You didn't find a way to find out who, uh, find who's behind this. We still have no idea what is going on. Oh! Uh, it's not crystal clear to you. Is that uh, what is going on? Some bitch? I don't know why. I just, I've had him like just swear at each other. I just find it very funny. Are you okay with this? It is- that was kind of creepy. It is perfectly obvious that we have been in prison in some secret location with no way out. I can swear to you it's probably the government. They seem that I've been gambling way too much and they're trying to take away my allowance. That's beside the point. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was starting- it's staring us right in the face. <laughs> I didn't have to go and s say that. I was trying not to t think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to, to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop oh, it! Don't even joke about that. Um... Everyone, calm, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> I gotta ban the good. All we can do is adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is stronger or who is the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually... As someone who come, came back, come, what? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand we are trapped here, which means we would be spending the night however. So, get the fuck in your door. You all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Got the fuck to bed. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are also. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of order. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether, obviously, you fucking kitty. <laughs> the school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? <laughs> why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will be afraid of someone who might try and come and kill us. No, I'm not gonna think like that. I was gonna, I was gonna say something, but I gotta trust the wife. I, I can't. What? what? <laughs> if we have, yeah. if we have to worry about the night after night, or who knows how long we can wear it down and I see. So you're suggesting. What can we do? I see what you mean. What you mean, but I think I can end that. It's like the lo little Lolita girl. That little Lolita said, without something like that, we're just gonna self destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree, I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. <laughs> So everyone is in agreement, but <laughs> then if you will excuse me, I'm going to set up a trap and kill you all. I'm kidding. Huh? <laughs> huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It is almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. It smells like shit. And plus, I'm fucking tired. I hope you are well. So goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone else trying to stop her. Um, so, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll, uh, we'll be spinning. 
the night pranks. <laughs> the night and it's like huh. I stuck the food. Mm. So Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left this dumb fucking day. Mm. Well then what say we call it in an end to today's meeting. You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. Uh, we can re reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? What can we do? We don't have a choice, you dumb bitch. Did you not hear a damn thing she said? We can't go for long, <laughs> long without uh, getting some sleep. <sighs> this sucks. So we just have to give up. We just give up. <sighs> Uh, fine, good today, but what do we do t tomorrow? So in the end... Only options to split up and look around again, let everyone know if we can find anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today. Good, I'm exhausted. My fucking nails and her hair need to be done with it. There's no movement, but I'm going to cut it off for their own friends. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I'm hungry and I'm starving and this is bullshit. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open that bathroom. It's no use. It really is a lot. Oh, <laughs> Holy crap! Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. What? what? Like some kind of, like some kind of robot, bear, ghost. What are you doing here? <laughs> what? Makoto Nani, this is super duper major. It already majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical. Isn't because it's locked, the door just won't open. Hey! Um. Didn't you see the notice? We can't just. Can't you read? The bathrooms and the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, a, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless to me, I think. Ba bum, ba bum. Well, it's not. It's not that. It's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the boys and the bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So just turn the door knob and uh, turn the knob and lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed! Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the door knob, lift the door knob. And I did that, the door opened well. <laughs> You're not ultimate at all. Bye bye Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! <laughs> hey, wait! Damn it. Bing bong. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Okay. As such. It is officially night time. Okay. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Night, you creepy bug. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do is try and get some sleep. While uh, still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into the bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was as I had spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies, all like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept a situation we've suddenly been dropped into. And I dream of Big Mommy Milker's Kyoko. 
So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Host Peter Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I saw Kyoko, Celeste, and Chuka? <laughs> I realized it was all a dream. <laughs> it's kind of lame as as far as, as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In an enormous form, Monokoma would be a kind of teacher, but when I think about it, it's what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely Thank you all very much. Remember, we are all here to help people to be inspired by the I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! I love you, Monokoma, but you're a creepy as fuck. Good morning, everyone! Morning. It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! I want five more minutes. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Oh, I was gonna say morning, but yeah. Morning. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka. We can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head out to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Okay, well, I'm actually gonna end off that episode here. And fucking, let's not call it. He, he, I forgot his name. He, he, Yoko? Taka? I'm just gonna say Taka. Um, he's right here. I kind of like a fucking weirdo. How do you save again? F1. Okay. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button like a pilot. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I